I was uh, playing both classical and jazz music when I was younger, um, and I was actually also educated in, in Trondheim um, in both classical and jazz music, and later on in in Copenhagen uh, at the Rhythmical Music Conservatory, um, and I also I'm also very influenced by by folklore musicians. Musicians like uh, Palle Mikkelborg from Denmark and uh, Albe Henriksen, Sten Erik Tafjord, Nils Petter Molvar. Um, they have been very, very important to me while discovering my or searching um, my own sound. Also very important to me is different folklore tradition, traditions, um, Norwegian, Sami and um, Arabic and Eastern European in, in particular, uh, and also especially um, Eyolf Dahle and Helge Nurbaken, who I played with since 2015. They have been very, very uh, important to me. The process of my music making is, is kind of different from what the task is, if it's a um, touring project, if it's a commission, if it's a uh, uh, film score but uh, I usually I usually go away uh, to a quiet place where I can focus either it, if it's in a cottage in the mountain or a house at the coast uh, the most important is to get out of the daily routine and uh, and to be able to focus 100% on, on what you're making and I usually record sketches uh, on on this bass trumpet and my tuba, and uh, also I usually bring a, a digital piano, uh, and I Im improvise a lot until I find something I want to um, develop. Uh, I usually record most of it, and then I can listen back and forth and put put sketches together, and and then develop it from there. Uh, to the pro project it's it's uh, going to be. Since I'm working with sound all the time, I, I like to to do silent stuff uh, and being in the nature. Uh, at home, I can I have a small boat, so I often go fishing, uh, and I also like to grow things at home, like vegetables. Uh, and if I have longer periods off, I go to the mountains. Uh, my girlfriend is part of the reindeer herding in in the, uh, in the Røros area, south of uh, Trondheim. Um, so I like to be part of that as much as I can, um, which you know, and it it clears clears the mind and and you get uh, you get space to to think and to uh, create new ideas for future projects. Since I'm working a lot with uh, folklore musicians, I feel that I already constantly are meeting musicians from the past uh, since the traditions uh, are passed on from generation to generation. Um, but I wouldn't mind meeting Ole Bull, Miles Davis and Richard Wagner. It's it's very important for most artists and and uh, musicians to be visible uh, digitally. I'm using Spotify and Facebook and Instagram as my main uh, platforms, and also um, Tinker Steinhoff booking my my agent in Germany and my label in uh, UK Edition Records. They also do a lot to 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 make me visible. Um, and uh, um, for instance, the movie I made some music for The Last Black Man in San Francisco, San Francisco, two years ago. Uh, they found my music uh, on Spotify, uh, and that's why I got to work for them. Uh, and that that track uh, was later used for for uh, Coca Cola uh, for their commercial last year. Um, so it's it's very very important. To be visible. Um, 
I find myself in a, in a good position as an artist already. Uh, I have I have very different tasks uh, that I'm working on now. It's it's like recording albums with my own music um, for the album's sake, and I'm also doing film scoring, podcast music, theater music, uh, and I'm I'm seeing more of that. Um, scoring work for film and theater especially uh, coming because um, I have been touring a lot since I was uh, finished educated and it, it feels like a, a good use of my time to create music like that and it, it, it's very inspiring also to, to work with uh, other uh, creators like that. I think it's a very normal thing to to have days and periods of doubt as a musician. Um, it takes a lot to succeed and and it's a very personal thing. So when projects doesn't go as planned, uh, it's it's very easy to get negative thoughts on your own work. In my case, it's it. it Took took many years to you know get the ball uh, rolling, and uh, and uh, the it has costed a lot to get where I am now. Uh, and if I'm giving advice, it would be like um, focus on your own uh, artistic development all the time. Um, if you are if you're sidelined in the, in the wrong band just stop um, create new projects with with the musicians you you uh, um, want to work with um, it's it's about finding projects that that you feel you can develop in and and be yourself um, i've i've always pointed very high when I've created new projects. I've always asked the um, musicians I admire most. Uh, luckily, most of them has uh, has been happy to to join my projects, uh, and that's very developing and inspiring. Yeah, the the past fifteen months has been very challenging. Um, until March uh, last year, I was traveling between. 200 and 300 days as a musician. Uh, past year has been maybe 10, uh, so it's it's a massive um, change. But it's it's not only negative in my case, because I'm, I've been um, I've been lucky to to get commissions and work for film and podcasts, theater, and I can see that it's all changing also after the pandemic. Uh, I, I want to work more at, at home, travel less, but still focus on my main projects, um, which is my my own band with Eye of Dara and Helge Nordbakken. And, and the other one is with uh, Maria Mortensen and Jakob Janssen. Uh, but except for that, I'm, I'm not going to travel and tour that much anymore. Uh, I I actually I I like more now than before to you know to to stay home and create things and and work uh, online with uh, movie makers and and other uh, artistic creators. So it's it's a bit of a change. What keeps me going as an artist? That's the main thing I think is is my my inner drive to create things. Uh, and see the result of long-term working. Uh, I think I, if if I was no musician, I I would build things. I I need to you know draw and build. That's what I'm doing as a musician as well. And I need to I need to develop in it. If if I uh, stop developing i i think i will uh, do something else than uh, work with uh, music it's it's the inner drive to create and develop and 
you know, see the result of it. I think the best part of being a musician is when you have a commission for either a concert or film score. It's like sitting down, start great, uh, and then the period from there and usually several months until the premiere and being there with an audience and presenting the music that nobody heard before and getting that response either it's it's in a cinema or at a um, concert venue and that that's that's the feeling i'm looking for Thank you.